He's been keeping my board and my whole sporting barn full of full of dogs. And I love every minute of it. I love, love it. it. I love every minute of it. I'll bet. It's nice. I'm so tickled. Well, I worked my way through when I first started it. I worked my way through all the healers and the mess. Yeah. Uh, and it's such a privilege now to be able to make some good dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Such a privilege. And, uh, uh, he called me, Steve called me a couple of weeks ago. He, he had a litter of puppies. He didn't own the sire, the sire of the litter, but the, the sire of the litter was the 2006 USBCHA National Nursery Champion. He was bred a bitch for that dog. And uh, he said, I might want to know. He said, the last dog on on the pig dog's paper, last dog on his paper, is a dog named Moore's Lad. And I just thought you might want to know that. I thought that might make, might make you happy. And I said, because <laughs> that was the dog that started me. He was the oh, dog that I, he was my day. dog that started me and taught me everything I know about working wow, stock. Exciting. So, well, what it means to me is that and Lad died in 2003. Oh. So what that means to me is that he he had said that this dog is already in major demand as a sire because he won the USPTA. <laughs> right. right. So every puppy he ever sired. That makes my lad dog carry on forever. Yeah. And it makes him, makes him go on forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't care about joining the Girl Scouts, I just wanted to yeah. seriously go play with the dog. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I think we only have six hours. I've been a college freak all night. Oh, we can get out over here. Marcus, Marcus, come here. Marcus, cookie, cookie, cookie. 